What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another MTG Arena stream. Hopefully, you guys are okay with that. If not, I think if you try, you will be. And we're going to try, for the first time, the Competitive Draft Guild of Ravnica. 1,500 Gemarinos. And are you sure you want to purchase this item? Yes. Ionize. Snapcaster. Oh, Beam Splitter. I got the wrong mage. Similar, but different. I think we're just going to start on Crawl Harpooner here. It's the best green card. I think it's better than Prey Upon. It's better than Crushing Canopy. Shield Mate is good. Uh, I don't think it's Ionize, Beam Splitter, or Capture Sphere, which are the profitable blue cards here. Uh, Whisper Agent and Capture Sphere are good blue cards. Electromancer is also fine, but I'm pretty sure Harpooner is the best. And if you guys, uh, if you guys, as you guys know, I uh, do have some. I do have some uh, favoritism towards Golgari because the the guild it does me right, as as they say. We could take a unicorn or a conclave guild mage or a skyline scout. That that shield mate might come back as well. I do I do like how you have a lot of time to make the picks. I also don't. It's interesting because I don't know what comes back. You know what I mean? Like I don't know what the metric is for the cards coming back. Like I was gonna say the shield mate might come back. But I have no idea. I don't know if it's random. I don't know if they they lean towards colors. Like and and there's no proof either way. Like some people say that they don't they don't draft Demir highly, but some other people say they don't draft Green highly. So, you know, um, I think it's it's all just. I don't I don't think there's any proof to either of those situation situations. Um, though seeing as we have a green card, I might just take a Siege Worm. <sighs> though the Unicorn and the Guild Mage are just better. They based off data they parse from MTG. I, yeah, but I have no idea how they how they apply that. You know what I mean? I do like this. Oh, I tried to zoom in by hitting the left and right triggies. And apparently that does not zoom in here. I guess I don't know why it would, but still. All right, so Watcher in the Mist is pretty good. See, and you can't be like, Watcher in the Mist is good. I can't believe both of these are passed. Clearly blue is open. Um, but maybe it is. Unfortunately, both white and green are not uh, are not pairs with blue. They don't have Azorius or Simic in this in this uh, in this thing. So I'm probably just going to take the Healer's Hawk, and I maybe one of these comes back. God, it's really maybe we just play Watcher. And this is one of the problems that I have. I don't think it's a huge problem. I don't think it ruins the draft or anything like that. But Watcher is a great signal. A third pick Watcher is very, very good, especially when there's a Night Veil pack. A Night Veil pack, a Night Veil sprite in the pack. However, the problem is, it might not be a signal. I'm going to take the Hawk, because I'm trying to... Okay, well, Midnight Reaper is very, very good here. Um, That's a card I'll definitely be willing to splash, and it's not even close to, like, Hunter Witness or Take card. This card is great. So... I'm okay with being uh, more Abzani here. Abzani, if you will. None of these cards are very good. Unfortunately, this pack is pretty bad. However, for blue, we can take the Demir Guildgate. Reaper is great and powerful. That's true. Uh, I don't think it's... It's probably just Hunted Witness. It could just... It's actually probably one of these two, I think. Uh, I don't think they have drafts or plans for real living persons. I don't know why they would. There's no real need for it. The benefit you get from that does not outweigh the like the programming and the inconvenience of like a not only having to like time your picks, but also like not being able to just pick up and and, and draft immediately, or you don't have to wait for anybody. It's probably shield mate. It goes into our green deck. It lets us uh, prey upon's good, but I'd rather just have the the two drop here. Golgari Guildgate, that does let us splash the Midnight Reaper, which is nice. It's better than all of these, I think, for the things we're trying to do here. A Demir Guildgate. Uh, I like Righteous Blow. Righteous Blow is great against the Boros decks. I think that's fine. The Shieldmate came back, which is pretty nice. 
Uh, another crushing canopy, but I'd rather just have the shield mates. Shield mates are great because they let you attack and they also let you convoke. They attack, they protect. I'll take a locket. Locket again, good for Midnight Reaper. Uh, crushing canopy came back. That's pretty nice. And this is a competitive draft, so we are going to have a sideboard. I'll take a hunted witness. None of these are. Eh, Guardian's actually okay for the Celestia deck. Chromatic Lantern. That's not exciting at all. All right, so we are leaning towards Celestia splashing Midnight Reaper if possible. Probably just take the Chromatic Lantern. This is a really weak pack. Like our options are in our in our colors. Our options are like Hunted Witness, Hitch Claw Recluse, and Celestia Gildia. We also have Collar the Culprit, which is not super exciting. I think I'd rather just have Lantern because it opens up a lot of different potential splashes as well as the Midnight Reaper that we already have. Conclave Cavalier is one of the better cards in this guild, so I'm very okay. All right, I just spent the last hour trying to find the clip. I got to back it in. My life. Oh, my life. Also, I'm another tab for an hour. Come back and you're playing the N64 game. What happened? Wow. I see the sideboard. Where's the main board? How dare you? Please leave now. We're done. Our friendship just ended. It's unbelievable. I didn't think it would come to this, but here we are. Here goes my Worm Skyline Scout. I like Flower Flourish. I think Flower Flourish is very strong when you're going wide in this deck, so... I don't think this pack is very good either. None of these packs have been super great. I'll take this. Inspiring Unicorn comes back. We we did pass this guy, and uh, now we can get another one. Especially, again, if we're going wide. Not bad. I wouldn't mind Parhelion Patrol or Golgari Guildgate coming back, so we'll see. Another shield mate? I don't think we need a third shield mate. Yeah, I think I'd rather just have the Guild Gate here. It makes our Black Splash easier, and it also makes us way, way more open to black cards that we may get past. We actually don't have anything higher than a 4-drop right now. I have to run, but... Th Varnak, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Patrol, though? Yeah, I think Patrol's fine, but... I mean, I'd, what was what did I take over it? I feel like what I took over was definitely better than Patrol. Did I say Guildgate over Patrol? I don't think that seems right. I probably made a mistake there if I did that. Unicorn? Oh yeah, definitely Unicorn over Patrol. 100%. Like, you can get more Patrols. You might not get any more Unicorns. It might just be Saratok. I definitely didn't say Guildgate over Patrol, right? All right, so these are our four options. We already have a righteous blow. I don't think we need a second one. Restorer is okay. I like I like the life link in this guy. A life gain in this guy is really not that hard to cast. I, I think people people are hard on this guy, but I think it's actually pretty good. Um, Wild Saratok could just be nice. I think I'm just gonna take the the restorer. It's I like it better than Foragers because Foragers doesn't guarantee you have guys in the graveyard, but this is just always four. Uh, Wood Shaper seems good here. What does this do? When I right click on it, it goes red. I don't know what that means though. I have no idea why it does that. Anyway, I'm taking the Samala Wood Shaper here. Centaur, I didn't like Centaur Peacemaker at first because I was like, I don't wanna give my opponent three life because usually the green decks are a little more aggressive. However, that being the case, it's still a three, three for three and sometimes the life benefits you more than them, so. Uh, Collar the Culprit is fine removal. I like it if they have... I don't think the Worm is that good. I think the Worm is fine. Six mana is a lot, though, especially if you're not able to convoke it. Uh, I don't know if we want another Hunted Witness. I would definitely take another Healer's Hawk. I think we're just going to take a Culprit for the sideboard. How many two drops do we have? One, two, three, four so far. Fresh Face is good. I'll take the fresh face recruit. That guy's that guy will make the main deck if we don't have anything else. And I'll take a worm. I'm not thrilled about it. Another worm. We'll take a guild gate. Uh, we already have a spider in the sideboard. No, we don't. Do we? Do we have a spider in the main deck? I thought we picked up spider, but I appear to be mistaken. Another shield mate. All right. 
Well, I was thinking about that while I started talking. It came back. Camaraderie. Not ideal. Actually, not terrible, though. It's probably... We're probably just going to take it. It's just a very strong... Uh, Celestia Rare. If Generous Stray, World Soul Colossus, or Sun Home Stalwart comes back, I'll be very thrilled. But uh, if we're going wide, I'm going to take the Camaraderie. Um... Arboretum Elemental is not bad. Ooh, Arboretum. Why aren't these stacked up? Oh, because they're different arts? That's interesting. I feel like if it's the same name, it should stack. That seems like a waste of space. I don't think it's Circuitous Route. Uh, it could be Generous Stray here. Where's the curve? How come the curve isn't up here? It doesn't tell me what my curve is. Started at Chichi Club in the middle school and the teens. The other day, someone was just from the playground for sending it to see Apocalypse. The new bomb had been dropped. Something they can see quickly. Can't reach. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We could use a big one. I agree with you. I agree with the, the plus one plus one counters. Every time I cast it, I'm like, oh, this is just till end of turn. Oh, my guys are not good enough. <laughs> it should also give vigilance. Like if it's not giving counters, I think it should give vigilance. I like Generous Stray. I like Elemental. I'm not super high on Molder Hulk here. I'd rather just take the Elemental. They both cost the same, but your number of creatures in the graveyard could easily be similar to the number of creatures on board that you can tap to cast it. Um, I'm going to take this guy because I f think it's a unique enough card for our deck. Uh, I like Sworn Companions here a lot because we do have Convoke guys. We have Restorer, we have Elemental. Um, <sighs> Glaive does seem good. We have three Guild Gates. That is another option. It's probably Glaive, especially with our small guys. Oh, another Glaive. All right, well, that's a thing. This is a late Legion War boss, but I guess that's not really a... It's not really a thing. I'll take the guild gate. Then we have two of each guild gate, so I feel good about that. Wow, we hit a Legion War, War Boss into Tajik. Thankfully, no one's actually taking these cards, so I'm just going to take the status statue and appreciate the removal. We're not going to splash Tajik off of like one. We only have one chromatic lantern, so I'm definitely not. I'm not in the business of that. Did we get the color of the culprit? No, so I can take this one. <laughs> sure hope we don't play anyone in our pod. That is not how that works. Uh, I'll take collar. It just kills big things. These packs are not great. Maybe just take the Boros Guild Gate in case... Um, in case the Tajik or the friggin' Legion War Boss table. I'll take Might. We don't actually have any tricks right now, so Might's actually a pretty decent pickup. Generous Stray is a good pickup. Other Generous Stray is a good pickup. This is 31 cards. This is a lot of cards. All right. I think it's either one of these. Three. I don't think we want a fifth Guild Gate. I think four is fine. I also don't think we care about another Generous Stray, because we're not like a Generous Stray deck. We don't have sacrifices to make. I'll play another Restorer in the sideboard just in case. Uh, Contraband's fine as well. Saratok. It's a late hypothesis. -le. Sure. So neither of those rares came back, which is interesting. I wonder if they make it so the rares don't come back. Just so, like, you don't... You can't just, like get a bunch of free rares. <laughs> this is interesting. Very Okapi. I'm not, I'm not going to play Locket and Glaive. Or uh, Locket and Lantern, rather. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Four drops. So this is 42 cards. We have 6, 7, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we need two cuts. That's not too bad. I do like one Swamp, and we only, we're only splashing one black card. Two black cards. 
So we have three three lands and a chromatic lantern. Like, I don't think it's that big of a deal that you're not drafting against other people. Like, you're still building a deck. You look at a pack, you take the best card for your deck, and uh, you cross your fingers that something comes back. I mean, you have the same, like, based on skill level of your opponents, you have the same likelihood of someone not, of a card not coming back in real life as you do in a draft, like, in a, in a, in a bot draft. So it's just not, it's just kind of a silly, like... How many creatures do we have? Does this tell us? 18 creatures, seven non-creatures. So you can probably cut two. Yeah, we can, yeah, I can look at this, but I can also, I'm just looking at this. Like this gives me the same information. Uh, I actually don't like this for deck building. I went over this yesterday and you can't see how many cards are in your deck. So I don't have any idea if I need to cut things or not. So um, it's easier to look at for sure. But I still don't like, like, you have to be like, oh, I need to cut two things. Okay. So you're a one drop. You're a four drop. Probably cut Saratok. It's probably... I need one more cut, I think. Gotta go back here. Doesn't say on here either. Okay. 41, yeah, all right, so we need one more cut. Uh, this is also six, seven, eight white sources and six, seven, eight, nine, ten green sources. I might wanna flip that. I'm gonna just go nine nine. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I think Guardian's fine. I'd probably cut like Wario Cappy instead of Ledev Guardian. Like, because I'd rather play this guy on four after attacking with a shield mate. I think a two four is significantly better than a three two. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten green sources. And six, seven, eight. I think we are actually gonna cut one of those. And oh nope, that's not what we want to do. I guess I wanna go back okay, go back here and add two. So seven, eight, nine versus five, six, seven, eight, nine. That seems good. What is gonna represent our deck today? Camaraderie. Boom. All right. Uh, snap keep. Sneep, as the kids say. Oh no, I stepped away and now it's Magic Online. This is not Magic Online. Joke's on you, buddy. That was a good draw. That was a good draw because now we can play Lantern on three and Cavalier on four. Here comes a nothing. Here comes a nothing. Yeah, the sounds are fine though. Like it's not like it's super it's well they didn't have anything last turn for three. So they had to draw the guild gate, or else they would have just played guild gate last turn, right? Fascinating. 
They're gonna wish they saved that for this guy for sure. Yikes. Oh, we also drew natural, uh... I really think end should be end turn. Do you know I use the overlay? I've like it's 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 literally I have it in here. I just haven't installed it yet. Like I've been I've only streamed on this for three times. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just gonna pass the turn. We're done. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So actually we can play both of these this turn and next turn we can play it. Arboretum. Doesn't matter. Is Arena easy to get used to? Uh, you would have to tell me. I'm fine. I'm fine with it. Like, like it wasn't for at first. I was kind of like, eh, I don't know if this is really doing it for me, but it's gotten to a point where I'm just like, yeah, this is this is this is much improved from where it was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do I have to do it now? I think I do. They're tapped out. However, if we put a thing on here, they just die anyway, so... That's sad. I guess we'll resolve it. I don't think it's another part of the stack. That doesn't make any sense. It's a single spell. Really? That's weird. That doesn't make any sense. It's a single spell resolving. Like, if we... Actually, I guess if we keep this guy alive and they want to trade, it's the same as killing it, right? And if they choose not to kill it, then we get to keep our guy. What did they discard? Maximize altitude? That's pretty good. Yeah, if you want to trade here, that's fine. Now they're like, do I trade? I don't know. Yeah, I didn't think it was... Yeah, it's really weird how that works. Yep, this is fine. No, no no trades? Yeah, so now we just get to deal with five. That was a good choice then. All right, I'm okay with it. Right, yeah, you don't name a target until after you choose to discard, which is super interesting. It's a very... That's very interesting. That's got to be a new way of handling cards like that. Because I don't think there are cards like that, actually, where you're like... If you do a thing, then you can then you can target them. Do we do it again? They have five cards in hand? Good lord. Mustin makes me feel good. If they want to kill it now, then it's fine because then we can play this guy after. A delayed conditional trigger. Good lord. They're roping. As the kids say. Ah, oh, good old DCT. Oh, alright. This guy has been doing some serious work. Oh, 
not the command store, not the storms, not commanding storms. Oh, uh, I guess we'll play burrito. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. It's got hexproof. What are you gonna do against that? Nothing. That landing with lanterns just I mean it's no less annoying on Magic Online, right? Like you click it and then it's got the drag down menu. You click it, it's got the drag down menu. Like Alright, so they're tapped out. That is interesting. So they're probably gonna go block here, block with one three, I would imagine. Which is fine, we take out both of those guys. I'm feeling good about attacking with everyone here. Huh. Well then. Oh boy, this righteous blow is gonna be a, a right, this is gonna be a righteous blowout. Whenever you, whenever they cast it. All right, that's fine. Blowouts make me feel good. You did. Sure. All right, they're not as dead currently. Okay, they're still just as dead. <laughs> Snatch up four, my boy. Combat. All attacks. Everybody in. Yeah, double block. Yeah, that's camaraderie off the top will do it. Woo! All right, so they got a big, we're gonna definitely play Crushing Kenobi. What the hell's a Kenobi? Help me, Obi-Wan Crushing Kenobi, you're my only hope. Mustin makes me feel good. Collar the Culprit also does kill their, their Drake. I think that's all I really care about though. Uh, generous peace. I'll probably take out Stray. Uh, changes are locked after submission. Your deck is not updated until submission. Okay, wait, hold on. So I'm done. Okay. I believe it's pronounced Kanopy. I don't think so, man. Pretty sure it's Kanopy. Can you play the horse more often? The sound is kind of sweet. Yeah, definitely. I will keep this hand. Can you tell us more about why Bustin makes you feel so good? Are they a sponsor? Yeah, if you guys are interested, you can go to bustin.com slash Franklin. I have, don't go to that link. I don't know what that could be. Busted makes me feel good. No blocks. No blocks. Guys, we have lost two subs in the past probably half an hour. Can we can we step it up here? This is not. It's not what I signed up for. You understand? Can't do anything else here. Pow! 
Get out of my house. That's such a better use of mana. Like, we would rather spend four mana to kill this guy anyway. So I'll just gain two and deal and get rid of it for one mana. Okay, that we might just cast to hit a land here because we have no lands. I think that's actually correct. Uh, we can go flower for a plains. Still equip glaive. And then we can rely on Bustin to make us feel good. You know what I mean? Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I can't believe they blocked. I, you should just take one. I obviously have something. Whether it's plus two, plus two. Sure. Bustin' make me feel good. Yeah, definitely just playing this guy. And hope they don't have lava coil. No lava coil. Nice. Yeah, still could have lava coil. Just want to play it for a discount. Oh, nice. So one, two, three, we put on here. We have four mana left over. One, two, three, four. We can't do anything else though. They also double block here. I think it's fine if they do that. I don't know if they're gonna block here. Oh, that was great that they didn't because now we can just play this guy. Oh, we already had the mana anyway. We had six mana. I thought we only had four. I thought we'd, I didn't think we had enough for this, which I would have left this guy up had I known. Now they might get some free attacks in. Either way. We wanted seven because we want to be able to play this and this, but I think it's fine. We're at 25. <laughs> Seems good. We have essentially three cards in our hand because we have a wood shaper, which is basically two. They're open. I always feel good when they rope because I'm like, you really have, you have nothing good here. Interesting. <laughs> Hand is three barging sergeants. That's no bueno. The only reason I mind is because the only reason I don't mind is because you uh, you clearly conceded if if that was you. So appreciate that. Rope rope P is uh, is what the rope is. You might say. Is roping what we're calling talking? No, roping is when they're like. When their time when their timer is going down. Uh, I don't know if you wasted lava coil. Like unless you see Conclave Cavalier, I think there's a lot of fine choices for a lava coil. I wouldn't be hard on yourself for that. Like, it's an uncommon. Like it's a four four uncommon with a very restrictive mana cost. Like, unless you see it, it's probably it's probably a fine choice. Uh, we're gonna go with shield mate because if we draw like a Ledev, Ledev two four, we can we can attack and play it. Fresh face might be more likely to get some damage in if they play something, but they did not. Dry good 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 games and good luck, buddy. Okay. Uh, resolve. Okay, in combat, my turn. That's a good draw. We're gonna play a unicorn here because it's just better. I'm 
Bustin makes me feel good. Here comes the Night Veil vale Predator, which is actually actually fine on this board. They'll take six and trade. Okay. It's a wish coin crab for me. It's a wish coin crab for me. Actually, I guess we can actually kill. No, we can't. We can't kill it, so we're gonna have to use the other one. Dang it. Um, I'd rather actually just attack with these two. And then play Wood Shaper here. Oh, God, I hate that! I hate that button, dude. What a waste of a turn. That's unbelievable to me. Wow, I hate that. I hate that it says end so much. Wow, just wasted this time walked us. Wow, it's so bad, man. Real creature or an enchantment. Um, well, I don't think it's I don't think it's Midnight Reaper here. Probably just taking generous stray cuz we do want to hit land drops here unfortunately. Uh, no attacks. Dude, I can't believe we didn't play the last turn. That's so infuriating. Oh, uh, it should say end turn instead of end because there is an end combat step. There's an end step in the combat and the end of combat. So when it goes from attack to damage to end, I'm assuming it's the end of combat step, which is a real step in magic. And instead it's actually the end of the turn. So if it just says end turn instead of end, it's significantly less confusing as far as I'm concerned. Definitely just running out stray here. File a bug. I do that a lot, and it's one of the most infuriating things. Yeah, it just doesn't. It's simple. It's such a simple fix. It's there's definitely room for it. Like they can probably fix it this afternoon. So look, I'm going to play this. And it's probably going to skip my turn here, so. Because we don't have anything else to do, so. It just says, it just says end. It says goes to attack to end. And like, when I'm used to magic online... Like, here, I'll just show you guys Magic Online real quick. Like, in Magic Online, you have begin, beginning of combat, attack step, declare attackers, declare blockers, combat damage, end of combat. So when you go through all of these steps, and the next step is end, I'm assuming I'm ending combat. And it doesn't take a lot of effort. What just happened? Ritual of Soot? Sure. What they heard of? Three guys, and they lost two cards? Sure, three for two. And one of my guys drew a card, so barely a three for two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I can't see us attacking here. Maybe we just attack to get this guy out of the way. Yeah, I don't know what happens when you're in full control mode. It's probably the same thing. Like, it doesn't really matter. Like, it doesn't really change anything. Oh, boy. Disinformation campaign. You are something. 
Can they beat this guy? I'm going to get rid of this and, and just assume they can't beat this guy if we hit a land. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hope we don't have a disdainful stroke. Sure. This guy seems very strong against them. Like, they're going to have to put something real good on the board. Hired Poisoner. Yep, that's not... That's not it. It's a hard for me. Oh, that's interesting. They're at 11. So they can trade here. We put them to 6. I have a problem with keeping cards in my hand at this point, so maybe this is correct. Well, the game flips for options on your turn so fast, but that's a setting you can just turn off, though. I think it's it's good for a lot of people because it's quick, right? Like, it's 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 aiding to the uh, the quick mobile experience. And if you don't like that, you just turn it off. But I think the, the the minimal amount of bluffing that you're that you're losing there is not a super big deal. Like they're just gonna block here. I don't think you're gonna have a trick, so I think we just might as well attack here. My problem is if they play anything with surveil, they can just replay this. So they break even, but they lose their guy. And oh, they also have to take three damage if they do that. They'd have to burn three life, so. Sure. I mean, if you pay three to get this guy back, you go to eight, and then you take another six, you go to five? I feel like it's got to be blood operative here. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so this guy is actually surviving both of them, and you'd have to double block here. All right, keeping this in hand actually worked out for us pretty well. Is that it? No, because we don't want them to double block here, so. This also draws three cards, though. Dang. Yeah, I think this is better now. Um, because it gives us a lot of things that we can discard for... I don't want you to double block here. I will attack with this, and if you want to double block it, it's fine. Oh, all right, seems good. Now if they go to Sinfinish Campaign, we can get rid of this. All right, you get rid of one Healer's Hawk, seems fine. Get your blood operative back. This is all fine. This being able to make this guy a 7 is very relevant. And if you want to trade here, again, that's fine. Then you take nine. I'm going to keep playing guild gates because we have glaive in the deck. <laughs> so having three guild gates actually relevant. That seems fine. Oh, they did not get their blood operative back. Oh, they did. They go to three? Oh, 
I was gonna hit it again because the immediate thing after combat for me is ending the turn. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands. Yep, that's fine. Do you get a disinformation campaign here? Might as well, right? Yeah, that's fine. All right. I mean, this ties up three mana for them every turn, so. Might as well play the lands. Like, if they're able to bounce this and replay it each turn, then we're just going to have to discard them anyway, so. Hmm. Yeah, also, if they had that. They have six cards in hand? Like, what are their cards? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is eleven lands. Ten lands. Twelve lands. How do I look at how do okay, I don't know how to close this now. Oh, done. Okay. How do I look at my exiled pile? Is this my exiled pile? Okay. Well, again, playing land. Six and eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 5 lands in my... So 33% of my deck is lands. There are 11 cards in their deck, so... Alright, well this is bad because now they can get back their Blood Agent and now they can double block. So... Even if we hit Glaive here, they can still double block, which is pretty obnoxious. Though I don't know how they get past this guy in the long run. We're also at 27 life. 13 lands. Well, they have disinformation campaigns, so we're... No attacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. What? <laughs> 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 lands. There are 3 lands in our 12 card deck. Twenty Down to 25% of our deck. I feel like the MTGO Shuffler definitely did follow us to Arena, unfortunately. They have seven cards in their hand. They have. Does it not say when I hover over it? One, two, three, four, five, six. They have eight cards in their hand. What are they doing? What's going on? I'm watching you for five minutes, and all you do is drawing. I yeah, I agree with you. It is not by choice, my friend. It is not by choice. That's incredible. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Two lands left in the deck. <sighs> Pretty sure if we got maybe three three spells out of the past six lands, we probably would have been in good shape. I think we could probably ha have a game here. They have six cards. They still have to beat us with the last six cards in the deck. That's, that's going to help. Sinister Sabotage. Devious. Oh, they probably have Devious Cover-Up and they're just going to counter this and they're choosing the cards. I can see them hovering. Yeah, look, they're hovering over their graveyard. Yep, Devious Cover-Up. That's frustrating. Yep, I guess, uh, why aren't we borders of the basic lands colored? Ah, oh, that's a good question. It's a very good question. I don't know why this forest and these plains are gold. <laughs> oh, that's fascinating.
Oh, because of the chromatic lantern. That makes sense. Because they can tap for all. Whereas these are. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, they're doing it again. They're, uh... Double... Oh, that, I guess we could have just not played anything. And probably won this game in four turns. But, like, I think they still win that race. I feel like this game wouldn't be close if we just didn't draw 17 land. They're oh, they're just doing this to surveil? Fascinating. Fascinating. Your decisions fascinate me. Still don't like these two. Well, they may be on a cover up loop once they draw the other cover up, but I don't think they're there yet. So we go to 11, then we go to 7, and then we go to 3, and then we're dead. So they got a few more turns out of this guy. Let's see if you drew another one. Let's watch your graveyard get. Oh, no, interesting. Huh. I'm intrigued. Well, we're definitely just putting it on this guy. You can stay home. Why not attack? Uh, wait, what do you mean? Because then they just double block with 3-1 and 3-2, and then they just get this guy back infinitely. Yeah, I figured you just block with these two guys. Go to three. Play the blood operative. <laughs> I like that they price a fame to the creature with the. Uh... So, 3-3, they still double block. Not ideal. They have six cards in their library, and they shuffled in like eight? They'd probably be dead, right? I don't think they could have raced us. But, like, we wouldn't have had to play anything. Like, we wouldn't have had shield made out, like... They might have been able to race us by attacking with everything on the last turn, because they could still build the board just because we can't. Although they did shuffle this guy in. And we could easily block here, so we take seven on one turn. If we can kill this guy, we go to seven, we block here, we take three, four, five, so we don't die. But they would on the crackback. Oh, I didn't hit end. I was like, wait, what are they waiting for? What's going on? Whose turn is this? Mm-hmm. 
So I just block here and then double block here. That's brutal. Unfortunately, this guy has two, so they can actually block with two, five, and three, two. Yep. No attacks. If they have devious cover up, then we're just dead, and this match has been kind of comical. Six lands in a row, I think, was the really the. Uh, if we got any other guy on board at that point. I'm just waiting to see their graveyard being hovered over. Wait, oh, it's... No, it's asking me. Never mind. <laughs> My bad. I'm going to give you the best pro advice for playing arena. You need to start winning more and losing less. I appreciate it. I mean, I think my win. I think I'm winning a reasonable amount. I think the reasons I'm losing are kind of silly. Yep, that's game. All right. Wait, why didn't you just alpha there? I have no cards in hand. Oh my god. Get ready for game. It's not a fighting game. Come on, let's go. Um, Crush Contraband does get rid of the capture. Yeah, we'll probably just want Crushing Canopy instead. Um, righteous Blow would have been a good draw there. Centaur Peacemaker seems pretty bad. We don't want them gaining life, and we don't want uh, our 3 3 matches up pretty badly with their 3 1 and their 3 2s. <coughs> Uh, definitely keeping this. It's a little off of Ca Conclave Cavalier, but we can draw two white sources in it. We do have a generous stray, and I'm fine with that. There's probably going to be a Celestia Guildgate on the top, so that's cool. Oh, fresh face recruit that I cannot cast. Kind of sad. Another Golgari Guildgate. That's fascinating. How's it gonna be? That was actually a good draw. Because now we can go Recruit. And Glaive. No attacks, because that would be suicide. So next time we're gonna play Restore and Guild Pact. Or Guild Gate rather. What are we splashing with Lantern? Wouldn't a mana rock that we can sack draw cards to get our actually I actually I actually deck creation, so just act um one, two, three, four, five, six. We're getting rid of Guild Gate, that's the worst card in our hand. Um No, I mean, Lantern is just better because if, if you have cards with really restrictive mana cost like Conclave Cavalier, it's so much better uh, because it helps you cast that, whereas something like a, a Golgari Locket is not going to help you cast that. It also does make your... It makes us cast both Midnight Reaper and Cavalier, so... Yeah, we're just gonna draw three. Actually, maybe we just glaive? Nah, we're gonna draw three. I mean, I think if you want to trade with these two, it's fine. I 
In your opinion, what are the best two draft archetypes in Dominaria? Uh, I'm a big fan of the white-black archetype. Uh, I'm also a fan of... God, it's been a while. Who are they blocking? They're all blocking this guy? Oh, we're definitely cleaning these two first. Wait, how much do we... I only have four. Ugh. Yeah, we're definitely killing. That's yeah, fine. One, two, two, sure. That's fine. Yeah, the red blue deck is fun too. Uh oh, ritual of soot incoming. Sure. I mean, that's not really great. Uh, there are no planes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Definitely playing that. Put on this guy, because if they want to kill this guy, that's more than fine. Capture Sphere. <laughs> it's nice that we have this. Yeah, it does get tapped regardless, so... I'm gonna do this now because we've seen double uh double devious cover-ups, so no point in really waiting waiting to play that. You got it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So as long as one of these survives, you can play elemental here, and they don't have devious cover up mana, which is good for us. Two cards. How oh, nice. Well, they can't block both, so we're definitely going to be able to play Elemental here, which is pretty nice. Um, yeah, kill both. That should be game, especially with a Glaive on board. No secret whisper elementals here. Sure. Uh, we're actually keeping this in hand because one of the creatures they may play is this guy. I can't imagine, but... Uh, actually, they're both lethal. So... I don't think they could have an answer for this guy, but if they play two guys, I'd rather just kill them. I think it's worth showing them this just to make sure they're dead. I do have to use the restroom real quick. I think we're submitting our deck like this, so give me one second. I'm just going to go use the restroom.
Welcome back. We'll keep the sand. Hands good. Quick, someone hit keep. We did it. We made it. I have no timeouts, though. They don't either, though, so that's good. Let's probably go guard Guildgate. If we hit a third turn Midnight Reaper, I want to be able to play it. Which also gives us green and white. So eh, I'm just going to get rid of planes here. <laughs> easy game, easy life. I don't know what trick you could have, but I'll deal with it. Sure. <laughs> That's a... Sure. That seems bad. You get to surveil, but I don't think it's that great. Um, shield made again. Guild gate. Guild gate. Hopefully the camaraderie of our squad just runs away. That would be great. Yeah, that was a really greedy Mephitic Vapors, I think. All these spells are very, very greedy. A land lets us play Restorer, which is nice. Yep, that's nice. This could also just be better for the camaraderie next turn if we hit a land. If we go two drop guy, probably just want to hit Restorer now. It also gets around things like Ritual of Soot. Oh wow, that's, that's pretty nice. Um, actually, we only have five lands. All right. Well, yeah, it's still got to be this. It's just better mana use. Yep, they're targeting. They're targeting. Yeah, they're just going to. Yep. <laughs> Obviously. What did they shuffle in? Just the Necrotic Wound and the Burglar Rat? I mean, that's fine with me. No blocks. This is where they get the uh, Whisper Agent to block our shield. Mate. No, huh? Second devious cover up? No, that guy survives. All right, I like it. And they did nothing on their turn. Well then. Choose blockers. No, I'm good. Okay. Um, I'm satisfied with drawing two here and dealing seven. They said good game, so I, I don't think they have anything. Which is weird, because they haven't been playing lands, right? Like, Alright. Seems good. So we're 2-0 right now? That's pretty good. How long has this been? 
About an hour and 12 minutes? That's not terribly long. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, actually, one more win and we get our draft back. That's pretty good. Wow, this is actually this is actually not bad. And four packs? That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, we'll keep this. Again, it's like a situation where any one white gets us the other white and we have things to play in the meantime, so. Yep, that's pretty good. Another Demir deck. Interesting. Fascinating. Another forest. Also fascinating. Well, our blocks are not great now. Or their blocks are not great. Okay, we need planes. Any planes off the top is really where you want to be. Rob bosses solutions donate GG. <laughs> oh god. Can I mulligan this stream until there's more mics? Wow. Wow. Oh, we're not attacking here. For obvious reasons, guys. So now they get to surveil. That's cool. Surveilling is cool. Is it though? I don't know. Actually, it's not an is it ability, it is the Demir ability. Okay, you win. What do you win? You win being a nerd for the rest of your life. Uh, yeah, I'll take two. Is this against the computer or people? This is against people. These are real human beings. Rob Boss is not going to be the name of the computer AI. Uh, so this is going to be a three, but this is going to be a four. I like this better because we can block combat, attack, all, boom. So we can go one and three here. That seems fine. Oh, alright. Seems good. It'd be Bot Ross. That's probably accurate. You may come at me, bro. I'm gonna block here. Is this just a trade you wanna make? Dazzling lights. Uh, so negative three, but then I'd give a plus two, so go back to one. No, it would be a two. Resolve that. Yeah, actually might is probably worth it here, for sure, I think. Like, if they want to counter a Might of the Masses to get rid of my two-two... Otherwise, we trade House Guild Mage and a Dazzling Lights for a uh, shield for a Might of the Masses, which seems pretty good. Sure. Oh, a plane's right off the tippity top, boys! <laughs> Got real excited there. Can't kill both, so I think what we're going to do is go 1 2 for Guild Mage. And then play Restore off of that. And 
And then we have a pretty good camaraderie turn next turn. Uh, let's go no attackers because our kitty cat's not gonna. He's not gonna. He's not gonna get there. Is what we're, is what we're getting at here. A radical idea in the main phase. Radical idea in the main phase is it always smells of such desperation. Okay, I think we're yeah. This is gonna be a good. Uh, Oh, that's even better, because now we get to play this. I guess we'll wait, right? Because we might want to just play planes and actually kill this. I think we do. Combat. All attack. Four attackers. Let's do it. Let's get it done. We have a Righteous Blow, so we can kill the Pitiless Gorgon if they uh, block favorably. Damage? They didn't block with Pitiless Gorgon. I'm confused. That was fascinating. It's a Pitiless Gorgon. I'm shuffling cards. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it in the mic, but I have sleeved cards that I'm shuffling. So, I can't tell if you guys can hear that or if it's like some kind of card shuffling ASMR for you guys. Hey guys, just wanted to give you some uh, some, some card shuffling uh, ASMR in case you guys were interested in the... Yeah, that's a pretty good draw. Okay, so we have just mono tricks here. Sure, you're at four. We have status statue to give death touch. Do you have a preferred brand, brand of sleeves? I personally really like dragon shields. Mm -hmm. So they have one blue and three black here. Okay. Are you just trading Healer's Hawk for Crawl Swarm? No, we're trading Healer's Hawk for... So you're going to take two. Yep, yeah, that is fine. Um, going to Righteous Blow this guy. So how much mana do I have left? One, two, three, four, five. So we don't have double. We don't have double white. So disdainful stroke. Wow. So if we just played the other half, we actually could have played around that, unfortunately. But I still think that's pretty okay. They're at two, and we have three guys in a glaive, so not too worried about it. They have one card in hand as well. Yeah, I think we're in good shape here. Okay. So, they're still dead? Because they have two blockers and we have two creatures, but they need three blockers. Oh, <laughs> they killed their own spy bug. Oh, isn't that cute? Uh, Glaive on Bird was lethal? Maybe. 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 I'm just going to keep saying maybe because I don't know. Take out Peacekeeper. Bring in Canopy. Seems good. Call her the culprit, perhaps? What do we see? Just a bunch of dirtles. <laughs> yeah, I think that's actually fine. I think our deck is very good. So We also didn't draw... Um, we haven't drawn Midnight Reaper once, which means it'll be in our opening hand right now. Get your get your simulation confirmed emotes out. Oh, it wasn't. Sand's still very good though. This is the only card I'd ship back. If we were playing Hearthstone and I got to pick which card I sent back, it'd be this guy. Guys, 
it's really weird, but I'm actually kind of enjoying Arena right now. I don't know what to do about it. Uh, keep. Ooh! Oh man, if they don't use this, it's gonna be really good. <laughs> I hope they play something else instead. Oh my god, this is the best. Oh, my heavy breathing emote. Oh, my stars. Pop, pop. <laughs> yep, that was pretty good. I see. I see. I'm going to get rid of the... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the Crushing Canopy, actually. This guy's really hard for them to beat, so if we can land that guy, I think we're in good shape. And we're also in... Uh... I'm pretty sure I'd trade Crawl Harpooner for Demir Guild Gage. Guild Gage? Guild Mage? All day. Yeah, I didn't think you'd want to do that. And play you, and play you. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We're actually not super far away from casting this guy. Next turn we can play two more things. Four, five, six, seven. Sure. Gonna counter my fresh face recruit. No. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna have eight next turn. We do need another white source, but the guild gauge is how you judge all the guild mages. Where's this guy sit on the guild gauge? You guys think it's? Uh, I think he's pretty up there. He's high on the guild gauge. That Gorgon ain't got no pity. Interesting. If we hit a land, we get to Camaraderie or Arboretum. Hello, Internet Mickey. Steven, what's going on, buddy? But excuse me? You don't know my life. Oh, a 2-2, no less. I see. Not me crawl, Harpooner. Well, that's awkwardly the wrong land. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, this is where they turn the corner, unfortunately, because we have had some awkward draws. They have one card in hand, though. I like that. I see. Don't be a disdainful stroke. Seems good. Uh, they are going to scry, surveil, and get things. Four, five, six. Yeah, it's fine. main phase just to deal an extra three or an extra one I guess if they don't have anything oh because they also have phantasm sure I 
Actually, if they kill this guy, it's almost really good for us because we can actually uh, cast camaraderie here. And all of our guys are very, very big. And it gives us... <laughs> wow, four lands. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh, they just scoop to a camaraderie? What? I guess because we drew four cards, but... They were all lands. Does it irritate anyone else when they gave Golgari no way to rebuy cards from their graveyard and even raise? They have... What? They have Golgari Fine Broker. Also, you want cards in the graveyard. Joke's on them, buddy. Oh, I, there was a card there, and I didn't know what it was. I didn't click on it. That's sad. I guess we just keep going, right? 300 more gems, an extra pack. Rob was like, hey, we can probably meet around 5.30 for dinner. And I was like, it's probably going to be closer to 6, man. It's probably going to be closer to 6.30 now. I don't even know. It takes me about a half an hour to get there, and um, we got two more rounds to go. This draft has gone pretty well, though. Too bad you're not in the Gabby Swartz draft. You can play two lands a turn. Touche. Touche. This is taking a while. I just got a YouTube comment and they were like, Mulder Hulk is awful. That is all. And I was like, I don't think so. It's, it's not great, but it's fine. Uh, Yeah, we'll keep this hand. It's not great. Any black source and we're good. We got a late camaraderie. We got a bunch of things we can cast. It's fine. A two drop would be nice here. <laughs> Fantastic. I would have preferred one of the Vigilant ones so that I can attack and play Ledev Guardian, but I'll I'll take two man two damage just to uh Yeah, just to be able to block that that idiot. Actually I guess we can attack and trade, and then we just play Peacekeeper. Peacemaker? The Peacemaker. Mentos. Centaur, the Peacemaker. Oh, they definitely don't trade, 100%. We'll just play this then. It's better mana usage. I don't think he trades. Yeah, I mean, correct. If, if we're going by power level, theirs is better. Uh, by a sizable margin. Centaur Pacemaker? That's in case you, uh, you, just, you work a little too hard as a centaur. Hmm... Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. So next turn if we hit a land, we can go Lantern into Midnight Reaper, and then we're pretty well set up for a com camaraderie. A camaraderie. Okay, not a land. Can we go one, two, three, and then we have one, two, three. Now we're actually one shy of doing all the things we want to do. I guess we could just play this. I don't like them getting in a hawk, but no attackers. Should have tapped this. Maybe we could attack with this guy. Is it worth it if they go block? Block? They wouldn't block. They would just take three, I guess. Wow. They have two cards in hand, huh? Okay. Well, I'm definitely double blocking here.
Yeah, so we trade a... Yeah, we trade a, a Sun Home and a Sure Strike for a... for a, a Roxy Loxy. Why did he call it that? No attacks. Next turn, however. Yeah, this guy's getting obnoxious, unfortunately. Creeping canopy, come on down. Combat. We're gonna block because they can only trade with one. So if they want to block here, we'll draw a card. It's fine. Otherwise, they're taking a good amount. Why did it hit that twice? I don't know why they do it twice. It's fascinating to me. This guy didn't have vigilance? I could have sworn that guy had vigilance. Now I feel dumb because now they can get a free attack in. I thought they had vigilance. I don't know how magic works, guys. It's a hard game. Oh, My bad. Um, God, the 3 4. Just being a 3 4 is super obnoxious. I really want to find like a statue, status statue. Well, that's a shield, mate. You have five mana. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're probably just chump blocking here. Nope, we're not. Oh, yep, we are. All right. This is where they pump this guy, make four four. Oh, because they have unicorn. Oh yeah, this is very good. Yeah, I think we're dead here. That was that would have been a nice draw if we literally hit that instead. If we were one card deeper. So we're taking eight in the air. So, I'm going to concede, because that feels right. We're going to put in a crushing canopy, like you do. Hitchclaw Recluse could also be better than something in here. Fresh Face Recruit does not seem great. Righteous Blow seems pretty good. That guy seems a little expensive. We're gonna bring in Recluse and Canopy. We lose every time we draw. I mean, that's a good point. I can't actually argue with that. I'm gonna keep this because we have flower. Uh, we can also go turn one this guy, turn two this guy. Yeah, we'll keep this. And if we hit, a, if we just draw a land naturally, it's even better. This hand's actually good. How come I can't look at their hand? How come I, like, I have to actually manually count how many cards are in their hand? That seems weird. 33, 33. Draw. Yeah, we're going to keep this in our hand as long as possible. We're going to get in. If they want to block, it's fine. Their guy is, is usually going to be more valuable than our guy because they can mentor onto their guy and we can't. So, 
if they attack, we're not going to block because we have Hitchclaw Recluse. So, uh, they missed land. They missed two land drops. Why would you keep this hand? <laughs> sure. That is aggressive, my dude. Let's get another white. Play the white. Play the recluse. And now we have Inspiring Unicorn mana up next turn. There we go. Hit a land. Just gonna go to game three. Bring it. Bring it. I'm telling you to bring it. They didn't bring it. I thought they were going to bring it. Oh, they didn't. They, didn't, they, they said no. Oh, they're not going to bring it because we have H-Claw Reckless. That makes sense. I'm just going to drop this guy and we're going to no attacks you. Actually, we'll get in there with this guy. If you want to trade, that's fine. Didn't think you would. That was a good game. I hope they do that again. Uh, these this is these are drafts. Uh, yeah, this seems great. I want to have righteous blow. I like having a. A two drop. I am shuffling up some sweet F and M action. We could have been more patient with that, but there's just no reason to be. Because we we have plans for all of other cards. Plus, like, I want to use it when they're tapped out. If they're going to play this guy first and not represent a trick, that's what I'm looking for. Um. Yeah, we're not going to block here. We're just going to play Ledev Guardian on our turn. And next turn we can play a Loxodon Restorer, and then our camaraderie is looking significantly better. Did you decide which standard deck? Yeah, I actually showed it to you guys earlier. I've been showing it all day. I'll show it up real quick. This is our... This is our deck tonight. You guys can screen cap it if you want, because I'm going back to Arena real quick. Alright. I'm pretty sure they're not going to block here. Like, I don't think, I think this is a fine trade with any of these guys, and with Unicorn, it's even scarier, so. Yep, that's good. So now I get to play this guy. And next turn we get to go Lantern and draw Midnight Reaper and play that. <laughs> Uh, it's actually Sultai. Definitely Sultai. Definitely Sultai. Oh, can we play both? One, two, three, Lantern, one. No, we can't. Hmm. Well, that's sad. Yeah, we're just gonna play this. Uh, oh, Cavalier seems very good. Um... One, two, three, one, two. And if we hit a land next turn, it's good. They could double block here, and I'll easily trade with a unicorn. Yep, I will. Oh, no. Yes. Easy trade. Wish we had a righteous blow for that, but how much damage would they have dealt with the hawk? Probably like six damage. Not saying it's better per se. 
That's fine. Okay. So that's good. Well, that's pretty rough. If this is any other land, we can play Cavalier, which puts us in so, so much better shape. I think this is going to be our first loss. Are we at three wins or four? I can't tell. Yeah, we're still at 20, but like, I mean, this doesn't feel good. Doesn't make me feel good. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, we can. Can we do both? Oh, we can because we have a lantern. This is gas. That's a good turn. I mean, the problem is they have the air very, very well covered. Like they have two, three, two, two, three power guys in there. They're doing like a six a turn. Like you guys are talking about, like. We're at 20 life, it's no big deal, but we're not really at 20 life. Like, we're very quickly at three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're at five next turn. Like, we gain a bunch this turn, but. Pop, 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 pop. Having might is actually very good there. Yeah, Might's a pretty insane pickup here. That feels good. <laughs> we also have triple guild gates for the glaive now. Three, four, five, six, seven. So we go to ten. Not ideal when they're still at 2,000 life. I mean, if they have Sure Strike in hand as their last card, we're dead, so. Atomic Frog, have a good night, buddy. Always appreciate it. All right, sure strike us one time. Three, four, five, six, seven, sure strike. You sure strike on this guy pre combat. We're tapped out. We're dead. That's not a sure strike. Fascinating. Three blockers were dead in the air. Like, oh my god, does that? Okay, we can get rid of the Parhelion Patrol. They have to double block here. They take three, four, five, six, seven. Nothing has trample. He does have reach, but that doesn't really do much. That's a very good draw, but it doesn't really save us, unfortunately. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. If they block, they can double block here even if we kill this and then take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If they didn't gain three life last turn, uh, we got this, but we're still dead. Like we're at three. So everything they have on board is lethal, unfortunately. If we literally had one more removal spell, we'd be in really good shape or if any of these guys had reach.
Uh, this guy dies. I don't know what you're thinking. I mean, they could just double block here. They take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I mean, I guess there was a potential, like, they could have blocked with the... I don't think they're blocking with that guy, though. So. Game was real close. Are we at four wins or three wins? I thought we were at four wins, but... A surge mare. Oh, you can get... Oh, we're at three wins. Dang, I was real excited. He would have blocked wrong, probably. Well, I mean, that is hopeful. Uh, this is a lot of lands. I'll keep it. It still lets us play all of our cards. Literally all the cards. We can play Conclave. Um, Conclave, Cavalier. We can play Midnight Reaper. So as long as we draw those cards and not lands. We're good to go. Look at, oh, wow. See? There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, no direct current. That's good. Surge Man makes me feel good. I know that. Yeah, that's that's correct. I 100% trade here. Oh, another red card. That's good because it's a red card, but it's not a red card. I like that. Well, no blocks now. block? I dare you. I'll trade. I'll draw a card. I'm game. I had a feeling you would not block. Oh my crazy. Next turn we can go generous straight into righteous blow, which is nice. I wish that this wasn't in the way. Like, this is actually in the way of this, so I didn't actually think this guy was attacking here. I guess we're taking eight. That doesn't seem good. Wow. You would play this with the white mana? That's weird. Ew, uh, what a weird cat noise. Get this guy in there, right? It taps duels last, but that's really kind of weird. Especially if I do have a white card that costs one white mana. Like, you're not even trying. Bustin' makes me feel good. Oh, you're gonna give that dude haste, I bet. Which seems good. Yep, that seems like a solid play. I 
Actually, this seems like it's going to be good for us. Okay, so let's see who they mentor onto. We're going to double block this guy. We're going to shoot whatever they mentor onto. We're going to take six and go to three. It's going to be rough, but... I hope it's the Legionnaire. It's got to be Legionnaire, right? That's what we wanted, because we can block everybody else. Does this guy have Trample? No. So we take six, and then we lose one here. So we actually take seven and go to two, and we have nothing to recover from that. Yeah, this is actually fine. It's not great. But if we can draw like a Loxodon Restorer or something, Centaur Peacemaker. That's not it. But we do have two blockers. Come on, good boy. All right, that's the worst card I could have drawn there. That was actually impressively bad. So even if we block, if we double block, we still die. Uh, yeah, so that's cool. Did your meet your subgoal thing to get mom? Uh, last month I did, yeah. How much mana is too much mana? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, nine lands in your first 14 cards is where I draw the line. And one of them is a chromatic lantern. So, so 10 mana sources in your first 14 cards. That's We've drawn, what, four spells? These two and these two? Yeah, that seems reasonable. That's eh, a reasonable thing. Boston makes me feel good. God, the Boros decks are ridiculous. Yeah, so this guy was good when he was good, and he was bad when he was bad. That's life, right? You're good when you're good, but you're bad when you're bad. Uh, Generous Strike might be too slow. Recluse and Canopy. Are th Recluse and Canopy are the two cards I've been bringing in, which feels okay. I'm sorry about the animals, but I'm so excited. Hey, buddy. That's fine. We can go first turn flower, get a thing. We have two guys if we do that. It says you go first. I didn't actually choose. Did they just default to making you go first? That's interesting if they do. Uh, first second is definitely not random if I win, right? Like if I win, I'm always, if I lose, I'm always going first. I don't, I don't see any choice. I hope they play a healer's hawk late. Late healer's hawk one time. Oh, that was a good draw. 
probably not going to run our 2-2 into their fresh face recruit. This guy's just better. In the long term. Top deck forest, one time. I don't want to play a 2-drop, and I don't want... Oh, boy. Oh, biscuits. Oh, biscuits. Alex, I accept. Suck it, bird. That was so... That worked out so well. Um, you know what? No blocks. I'm good. What is it doing right now? Get him! I appreciate their resilience. If they go deafening Clarion, I'll just cry. Oh, did you see that bird? Did you see that bird go across the screen? Unbelievable. Best guild in your opinion? I have been enjoying uh, Golgari, but I don't know if it's the best. I don't think there is. I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think there is the best guild. I think if you get the, I've said this a bunch of times, but if you get the, if you get the cards for any of the guilds, like if you get the, a good deck, then I think they can all compete with each other. Yeah, this hand's good. I'll keep it. Uh, no blockers. I'm good, thanks. We have nothing to play here, so we're just gonna go drop a guild gate like it's hot. It's 1-1, one, one, right? Yeah, right now this is game three. Thanks for the hours of excellent content. Everest, thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are the hero we need. I wonder if we actually attack for one. Let me just play a four drop, right? Uh, I'm also going to play a land that lets me play... That lets me play uh, Conclave Cavalier if we draw it next turn. I guess both of these. We could just play this and then play the four. No. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. It's all fine. Everything's good. Incoming horse? What does that mean? A basketball thing? This is nice because I'll just block. This is a great waste of a RoboBot boar. They give it to themselves? Sure. You got it, little boar. 
Come on, one time. Oh. That's fascinating. Okay. Sure, I'll take five. You know what? That's fine, buddy. You do, you do you. Yeah, not going to attack with both. Like, we're going to try to block at least. And if they have any shenanigans, I'm not going to just give them a free attack here. So, Do you have a favorite card art? Um, I've been trying to actually procure the Mystic Snake art for a long time. It has not been uh, successful. Demotion? Demotion of the ocean. Maniacal rage. Oh, God. Well, that's terrifying. So we're probably going to actually kill the Maniacal Rage if we need to. We can kill the Demotion, I guess, but... We can also chump block if we need to. We can also just start making guys to chump block with. If they have Gravitic Punch and they play it, we're definitely killing Maniacal Rage in response, which is pretty good. Oh, it's me? Oh, my bad. <laughs> wow, I didn't even know it was mine. I guess if the rope comes up, it is yours. That's that's how that works. So, um, I will take three and go to eight. Yeah, I don't care about that guy. Yeah, definitely gonna play this. All attacks, you can stay back. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they're probably going to block here, but that's fine. They'll still take five. Mm -hmm. Damage? Uh, no. I will decline the damage step. Sure. Mm. If we do trample, one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, they go to three. No, I'd rather just make a guy here. End. Resolve. You may attack. End combat. Make burrow. And now we start. Whoa! Crush him! Womp, 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 womp. This is how you do. Seems good. So they take five. Peace! That seems good. All right, we got one more round, and I'm gonna try to get out of here and be there by 6.30. Oh, a dinosaur stampede, guys. I'll claim my prize. All right, one more. 4-2 is still pretty solid. I'm okay with it. And then I gotta, then I gotta go meet Rob at the. Where are you going? I'm going F and M, and then I'm gonna go meet Rob. I'm gonna meet Swole Mike for food, and then we're gonna go play F and M. So much. How many games Frank plays in a year? Holy shit! It's probably a lot. It's probably very, very high. The, the amount is very high. It's a very high amount. What time zone are you in? I'm in the East Coast. 
It is 5.30 currently. Stream your FNM. Although, any... Um, this has three playables. I'll definitely keep this hand. My god, Torch Courier is just... He's really living his best life here, you know what I mean? That was actually a great draw, because now we have another card that we can play next turn. Not to, you know, have special intimate uh, relations, just so we can enjoy that. Well, take it back to your house, perfectly drunk. Wow, this is getting dark. Dang it! Oh, biscuits! If I could draw green, green, I'll be very happy because then if we can go these two next turn, then this one, and then camaraderie, and I think that's good. Yeah, I'll probably be also, next week is BlizzCon, so I'm going to have fewer, wow, that's, that's good that they wasted on that guy, but I don't foresee this guy coming down soon, so. That's also not great. Um... So I want to get some more... I have to get more videos uh, for next... Jeez, oh, really? I have to get more videos for next week, so I will likely be streaming sometime this weekend. What up, Fears Oars? Yeah, this is actually very, very frustrating. They have one card left in hand. How do we deal with this idiot? Well, that's a start. Because now we can chump block with this. Wall of ice cream. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. And the YouTube support. What do we get? Generous Stray is actually another creature that blocks for us, and we also actually can't hit, uh, or Midnight Reaper doesn't do anything for us there, so we're gonna jump block here. Because I don't really go for like, eh, maybe we go to, f no, we're not going to four. That's just Gravitic Punch territory. If we draw another land, we can go Generous Stray into Fresh Face Recruit. Yep, that's actually what we were afraid of. And we're basically dead to this guy. All right, well, this is a, this is a round. Gotta make the same changes this time. Bring, bring. Take out Arboretum. Take out... Generous Stray is actually too slow, I feel. I could see bringing in Hunted... Hunted Vic... Hunted Witness. This is this is fine. Now we get to scry. Uh keep. So we get to go Guildgate into one of these two. Uh, we actually want to go this guy because next turn we can play Shieldmate and Hawk. This might mean we can't attack, but I don't know. Maybe we just attack anyway. Maybe we don't even care about whatever they have. Yeah, I'll attack into that. That was a good draw. Conclave Guild Mage in the house tonight.
sure. What do we want? What do we want to hit here? Wood shaper, maybe? We have no cards, but like we can play most of the things we draw. And uh, our board is pretty well developed against the Boros deck. Actually, now we're going to keep you back. They don't play anything. They could have Sure Strike. They could have Take Heart. They could have pretty much anything. But if we keep you back, like next turn we can start making guys, which is pretty strong. <sighs> sure. Oh, resolve. Oh, my bad. Resolve. End combat. So any land is good? Yep, that's good. Yeah, now we can just make two twos every turn, which is really strong against the Boros deck, I feel like. Yep, that is that is a fine play on turn six, six or seven or eight. Yep, that's also fine. End combat. All right. They did not attack, because I would I would definitely block with shield mate and another guy. So this is a, this is basically a free guy. So we're basically trading a shield mate for a blade instructor and a maniacal rage. Which is pretty good. So even if they kill this Conclave Guild Mage, it's already gotten two guys and a card off of them, so... Plus a bunch of damage. Oh, this can't block. My god, I wish it would say that on there. Oh, I guess it's got like this thing. Oh, it can't block. Yeah, that's pretty bad. We're at 23 though. In combat. Oh yeah, that's we should have definitely swung in then. I'm so, I'm so bad at this game. Wow, this thing is huge now. Now it really can't block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is just worse than. We only missed one combat, so that's pretty okay. I don't actually want this guy to come down because then our healer's hawk is no longer a threat. So I will trade shield mate for the, for the haste guy, especially if the haste guy is going to threaten to give us a hard time. Oh, 
Oh, they Luminous Bond the Hawk anyway. Sure. Your attacks. Seven, eight, nine. Um, resolve. No blocks. I'll go to 15. I think you're dead. Okay, well, that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. I mean, unless they had, even if they had, like, they'd have to have, like, double Righteous Blow there because we had eight power on board and they had, they were at six. So they could attempt to bring another Restore, but I don't think we need it. I think our deck is good. We'll just play it. I just hate people that are wrong. Okay, you guys just chatting about Uh, I think this hand is keepable because of the... Yeah, this is actually fine. Turn two, we have two two drops. We also have a lantern. Oh, all right. That's probably better here. I'm not going to play it, though, because it's just better later. We're also in a situation where, like, if we have to do it on turn three, we can, we can do it and miss a land drop, and that's fine. This guy's better if we want to start attacking. Oh, did they miss a land? Oh, they did that EOT. I was like, did they just miss a land drop? Justice Strike is pretty aggressive there. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Well. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six white sources, and I'm gonna get a green source because it's more likely that we're gonna be able to. Oh, we tapped wrong. We're so bad. Oh god, that was so bad. We should have figured out where we we're gonna get first instead. Of, actually, we didn't tap it. it. It automatically tapped, did it not? Yeah, that's pretty annoying. That's that's really annoying when you're in like a final. Like this is like the the last, the very last game. That's frustrating. If we hit any land, like un any untapped land next turn, it's okay. We can go Lantern and a Guild Mage. If we don't, it's rough. But then we still actually just get to play Cavalier in a turn. Man. So brutal. Um, also, that doesn't let us play. We're just going to play this and Guildgate here. It's not ideal, but I'd rather get down Cavalier next turn. And we can also keep up Might of the Masses for plus one, plus one. We're also not doing much here, so... The only thing I'm afraid of is Lava Coil. Well, that guy's pretty big as well. I can't imagine they're attacking here, so that's good. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So we can actually play two things. 
Or we can play one thing and keep up plus two, plus two, and block. And that makes our camaraderie pretty good. Guess I'll accept you into the one, two, three, four. It's probably not ideal. Sure. Get four damage in. Seems good. All right. Let's play carefully here. They're going to attack in response to the trigger. We plus this. Resolve. Oh, they did not attack. Fascinating. Um, I can't block. It floats. So we'll go to... All right. I think we're actually in decent shape here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that definitely helps things, doesn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know how we're coming back from this game, but it feels like we might be. Oh my god, Conclave Cavalier getting the job done. 5-2. Is that what happened? Are we done? I just want to make sure. Make sure we're done here. Woof. Claim them prizes. Tatiova. Claim it. Five wins. One loss. 5-1, actually. 5-1. Six packs, 2,100 Gemmerinos. That's where you want to be. Let's open our packs. Let's see what we get as a little reward. Thief of Sanity. That's a playable card. Thief of Sanity. That's a playable card. Okay, well, that's weird. Um. Oh, Explosion Expansion. Another playable card. Unmoored Ego. Okay. So literally four blue rares so far. Bounty Agent. Or three? No, four. It was four. Risk Factor. Alright, so we're Grixis all day here. And finally, Fire Mines. Wow, this is a very Grixis heavy pack here. Awesome, awesome. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. The links are in the description below. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank for the most comfortable micromodal underwear, slouch pants, tees, and socks you will find. You get a 15% off discount and you get free returns and free shipping if you use my affiliate link. It also supports the stream and it's I really appreciate it. If you guys are in the market for those things, check out MeUndies. It, they're a great, they're they're a great operation. They have some Star Wars glow in the dark underwear that they're actually out of stock in, but they are getting some back in. So be sure to check for that. Anyway, you can also slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'm gonna get out of here. I'll see you guys later. Have a great night.